live here at Real Sports in downtown Toronto for the 2024 NBA All-Star Game Watch Party. It's Lapper Last Week, episode 165. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Drew Walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So guys, quickly throwing back to yesterday. So after a busy and stressful code white beginning slash Siwa hallucination type of night shift. Well, guess who had yet another crazy busy night shift last night. So after having that stressful night. I do what I usually do when I have nights like that, post shift. I went to my local McDonald's for my stress reliever. Headed to my local McDonald's to get some Happy Meals. But with the amount of stress that I've had over the past two nights, I got not just one Happy Meal, but thought I deserved two Happy Meals for breakfast. And since today doubles as Shrove Tuesday, I devoured this delicious Happy Meal breakfast in honor of Pancake Tuesday. And after getting a semi-decent post-night shift nap-in, just like previous years where we celebrated today's Mardi Gras in years past, as per tradition, we turned on the TV to my EarthCam 2 app and focused on watching some live highlights from New Orleans itself on Bourbon Street, where they usually celebrate Mardi Gras, as well as watching some of their live highlights from their world-famous street parties that they have here. Anyways, before I go in for my third and hopefully not so stressful or busy night shift in a row tonight, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends I remember making during my university days at Ryerson. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Michael. Happy birthday, Michael. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. First of all, just like this photo I took of myself four years ago, back in 2020, I actually took this picture for all you guys from last night's night shift to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. So, celebrating with all my colleagues last night, just like, as you guys know, what I've done in several episodes in the past, when I found this box of goodies in the documentation room, I just had to pick out one single donut here and devour it in between seeing my patients. And post shift while wearing my rose-colored pink scrubs pretending to be Cupid here, I went to the local Our Lady of Lords Church for Ash Wednesday morning mass to get my ashes and signify the start of Lent. I next went to make a Valentine's Day visit to see and say hi to my Lilla V this month. Hey Lilla, it's JJ. Just wanted to visit you on my monthly visit and bring this, well, balloon to you and wish you happy Valentine's Day on my February visit. Continue to look over us, pray for us, and we miss you Lilla. Take care and bye for now. I then continued on with my post shift adventures going to this place again, printing out some pictures for the wife's Valentine's Day gift at the local Staples here in Scarborough, then visiting one of these discount crazy bins places for the first time before heading to the condo to post shift nap for this much earlier today. Anyways, after getting up, the wife had opened up her surprise Valentine's Day gift from me, which had contained some memorable pictures. Wow. Oh. As well as a present that I had ordered her from last week. But yeah, finishing up the night, I bought the wife and I a couple of tickets, getting tickets to the burlesque parody of The Empire Strips Back. <laughs> <laughs> Also, getting the wife and I some tickets to the opening day of the National Bank Tennis Open set in August. <laughs> I then took her to a place that I was at not too long ago, to the IKEA City at the Scarborough Town Center, to go for a romantic vegetarian Valentine's Day dinner at the IKEA dining area. Happy Valentine's Day!
which had featured some of the best plant balls and fried onion topped veggie dogs that we have ever tasted. All in total for less than 14 bucks. We next went to take some pictures at the Scarborough Town Center Lunar New Year Dragon display before going back to this scene on my last visit here with this quick freeze frame where I got the wife to put on one of my red shirts for Valentine's Day, going to Chick-fil-A, making a quick minimal purchase with our red shirts on, and getting a couple of free bottles of Chick-fil-A sauce. But yeah, before I wrap it up for the night, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my buddies out there who I remember playing pickup softball with a couple years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Carta. Happy birthday, Carta. As well, we got a quick birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends out there who I played alongside with and who has made several Live From Last Week cameos in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Carol. Happy birthday, Carol. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So quickly, going back to last night, guess who was looking out for a flash sale for the Jurassic Park exhibit in Saga? Getting limited time only tickets for 50% off, booking themselves to attend this event that they've always wanted to go to in early March. Now guys, on to today, getting up early after once again minimal sleep and not catching up on yesterday's missed rest. To put on this winter getup that I found in the back of our closet, which made the wife laugh before driving her to work this morning. Do you need your pickle? Pickle? Some, uh, I did try to take a mid-morning nap before having a quick calling to do something that I did just yesterday. And in that calling, I decided to go store hopping, going to these liquidation shops that my friends have been to before, where on days like today, being Thursday, had reduced each and every one of their items to be only $1.50 each. With the first stop being over at Toppins at Markham and Eglinton, where I saw a couple of these items, which had actually caught my eye, getting these items for around only 3 bucks in total, then going to their sister Toppin store over at Kennedy and Lawrence, saw that in the parking lot it started to snowstorm, and reminded of the times I traveled to Squamish with a wife a couple years back, I found these treasures to use on the snow and ice later on this winter, as well as a couple of other random things, which in this haul cost me a total of around only 8 bucks. And guys, utilizing these items while trying to walk in the snow on my way to the car in the parking lot, I feel like it had already made its money's worth earlier this afternoon. But anyways guys, on to the birthday greetings of the day, with first a birthday shout out to one of my friends in Chicago who I met at an SMIOA event back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you Valerie, happy birthday Val. We've also got another birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers who is now working down in the States. This birthday shout out goes out to you Rupa. Happy birthday Rupa. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of our FSAT friends out there who we know back in her times at U of T. This birthday shout out goes out to you Teresa. Happy birthday Teresa. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And now on to wrap it up for this busy day. After receiving this personalized gift in the mail for one of our cousins that we got custom made for them. Tonight I headed to yet another pickup volleyball session this evening. Playing some indoor volleyball with the Midtown Toronto Three, two, group. One.
Guys, my body just doesn't want to sleep. After waking up at a time that was before the sunrise, with it still dark outside after less than five hours of sleep, you can see me being productive, working on some live from last week footage. Just before looking in my mailbox and seeing these postcards that the wife had gotten me when she went on a trip to Puerto Rico a couple weeks back. As well guys, I got this yearly gift from the city of Toronto, billing slash reminding me to pay my property taxes this year. And while on the topic of spending, guess who wanted to check out these liquidation spots once again today? As this is the day where they restock all their bins, as well as it being their $20 per item day as today is Friday. And although the type of things that were restocked today were of a higher quality slash more expensive type of goods, I just can come to spontaneously buy anything at these prices or at these places. So I decided to go to another liquidation store that I missed out on yesterday on Vic Park called Crazy Bins that still had $1 item Fridays where both the bins and the crowds here were pretty much empty. But I still managed to find a couple of items that did catch my eye that I'd purchased for a total of around three bucks. I also had my most recent Facebook Marketplace purchase with me being so excited that I got this sombrero for an event that I have planned for tomorrow. But anyways, before we go on tonight, we first have a birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made at Wysik when we were both living downtown and who recognized my Guadalajara soccer jersey back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you Priscilla. Happy birthday Priscilla. I'm hoping that at this time you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But now on to the main event of the night. Going back here for the first time since I went to this event with my cousin Lou, I was back at the Great Hall on Queen Street West with Lou and our buddy Mineral to watch yet another super kicked wrestling show called Super Kicked Cold War. <laughs> Well guys, after yet another fun and eventful Super Kicked event last night, after interviewing my boy Mineral with his first time being here. Yo Mineral, how was your first Super Kick experience? Yo man, I was so scared because my one true love, Taylor, was close. She almost <laughs> lost there for a second. We were shouting save the tables, but the people still got what they wanted. So I think that next time she's going to come back even stronger than the last. But um, it was fun. It was fun. I had some of these highlights, which were some of my favorites from this event. Anyways, after getting back home to pass out for less than six hours yet again, and the sleep pattern over the past week, 
I got up to make the wife this beautiful, delicious breakfast after her night shift while wearing one of my favorite shirts that I got at the liquidation shop from yesterday. But yeah, before I go on, we just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jolene. Happy birthday, Jolene. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But moving on today, for the first time since this live from last week episode, I took the GO train with my newly purchased Mexican sombrero on to check out with my former co-worker Sydney at the Anacare Center, the one, the only, I Heart Beer and Tacos Festival. Guys, after that fun time at the iHeart Tacos and Beer Festival yesterday, where I learned a couple of things about Sid that I never knew before, like the fact that she's pretty good at the game of cornhole. Oh! And that she's not that bad at beer pong either. as well as gloating after beating me at these games. I'm gonna make sure they don't hear that. <laughs> I can say I got my revenge by beating her at the NBA Jam Arcade game. As well as defeating her in Jenga. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but at the end of the festival, I didn't have my sombrero that I got off Facebook Marketplace with me as I made a deal with a fellow festival goer to sell my sombrero to them for only a couple of tokens. And 
after enjoying some more brews with the tokens that I just recently got, there was a particular vendor with their location not too far, only a little bit of a walk from the Enercare Center in nearby Liberty Village at the Left Field Brewery, where we were able to utilize these coupons that we got at the festival. Continue on the party of beverage tasting at this establishment and meet up with one of Sid's friends and have a beverage or two with them. Yeah, man. All right, cheers, guys. Cheers. It was also interesting, though, because randomly in front of us, I saw this gathering of fellow Toronto Argonaut fans, which I later found out was a fundraiser where I also randomly ran into a friend that I made when I did a sports trip back in New Orleans over a decade ago. Yo, Janelle, you remember John Murphy from New Orleans? Yo, big time Grimace Vasquez fan. I also met another diehard Argo fan, Ginger Argo, who does well to promote the Argo community. Woo, go Argos! Gave me this awesome Toronto Argonaut anniversary patch and who I really hope to meet up with at a future Toronto Argonaut tailgate once the CFL season starts up again. Now finally on to today where we'll start off with a quick birthday shout out to one of my family friends out there who always reminds me to pay my CNO dues each and every year. This birthday shout out goes out to you Sarah. Happy birthday Sarah. We next got a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends of whom I last played with in indoor a couple weeks back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Carlos. Happy birthday, Carlos. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my Wysig friends from back in the day who used to call out the phrase party in 7C. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Adam. Happy birthday, Adam. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, moving on, waking up after passing out for a decent seven to eight hours last night, I headed to the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary Catholic Church for Sunday morning mass before taking down the emergency mini fridge that we got and used while our old fridge was broken. Seeing Andrea for the first time since she dropped off graciously that mini fridge to us a little while back thanking her for her generosity. The wife had also had G over to stay overnight until this morning, where we enjoyed watching the replay of the 2024 NBA All-Star Slam Dunk Competition. And well, speaking of which, this evening we're meeting up with a buddy of mine, meeting up with Jason to check out a 2024 NBA All-Star event with him downtown. So first of all, I wanted to wish all the families out there Especially this one, where 75% of the family here aren't even in the country. A happy family day. Happy family day, guys. And speaking of family, it was nice recently that the sister sent us a virtual postcard, posting a physical one somewhere on a wall in Vietnam during her travels. But yeah, while on the topic of families and celebrations, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my family friends slash cousins who has made a previous Live From Last Week episode cameo in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Judge. Happy birthday, Judge. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah, going back to last night where we were in downtown Toronto at the Real Sports Bar for the 2024 NBA All-Star Watch Party with my buddy Jason being here to watch a game on the big screen for the first time in over a decade since I was last here with my boy Shaughnessy cheering on Toronto Raptors Scotty Barnes in his first ever All-Star Game. We were also pretty excited to feast on all the food that they had prepared here. Jason, cheers, man. Cheers. cheers. It's on a tropic, so we're <laughs> Shot a couple shots playing the arcade shooting basketball game. Look at that focus. 
of focus. With me having an imminent shot at surpassing the high score of 199 here. Okay, break the record. Here we go. But unfortunately, with me having just run at a time. <laughs> oh, he's so close. Three, <laughs> so close. <laughs> Anyways, a big thanks again to Jason for inviting me out. And I look forward to catching up and hanging out with you again sometime in the near future. But yeah, while commuting back, achieving the 10,000 step goal on my walk home, and getting a semi-decent 6-hour sleep last night, today I'm just staying in to work on some Live From Last Week episode videos before going in for one random family day night shift tonight. And guys, with that, we'll wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.